Good morning. Hey, the sun's coming up. We're gonna head out. We're gonna go for some gold today. We're gonna do some dry washing. So let's get started. I got the vehicle loaded up. Ready to go. Got all the gear. Got the gas. Cooler. You name it. Got it in here. Sun up. Today we're gonna go for some gold. Hey guys, we're out here now. Uh, quite a drive, but I made it all right. Stopped to get some uh, refill on fuel and some water, extra water on the way. A couple things I wanted to mention. This is uh, since we've already sampled now. This is the time where I'm going to be just running material. I'm going to run uh, as much material over the next uh, day, maybe two days, possibly three days. I, I, we'll see how it goes. It's not going to be as hot as it was the last trip, but it's still going to be pretty hot out. So um, that's one thing I wanted to let you know is that it's going to be more, rather than a sampling trip, this is going to be more of a bag up concentrates. and. Uh, I imagine I'll do some panning somewhere along the way and then give you give you a look at, at what I'm finding. Also I wanted to show you one other thing real quick and here it is. This is, this is what we're looking for. This is uh, Old River Cobble. These are uh, nice small fine cobbles, larger, larger cobble here, another cobble. And there's actually different layers in here. This is the kind of thing we're looking for. When you find placer gold, usually it's been, uh, it's been uh, transported and deposited with water, with flooding, with massive flooding, as a matter of fact. And when you can move cobbles like this and like this, you can, you can move gold. And one thing that you might, you might notice is real interesting is actually particularly right. This looks like iron staining to me. Iron oxides, and, uh, which is really just black sand. So this is the kind of thing you're looking for. I'm going to get started.
Hey, here's a recap, guys. Uh, I got rained out. I wasn't expecting it at all, but I'm getting rained on, and uh, maybe it was meant to be anyway. I'm pretty tired, sort of out of shape, so I'm getting back into shape, and wasn't expecting it to rain, but um, I was able to get three hours done. I got a total of six uh, bags of concentrates, and I'm going to go through one of them in just a moment. I'm gonna pan it out here in just a moment. But uh, it was it was nice. It's beautiful out here during the hottest part of the day. I sort of took a break, not anticipating it was going to rain. It looks pretty ominous. Uh, pretty heavy, pretty heavy duty uh, thunderheads. So uh, I'm not really prepared out here to just sort of wait it out. You know, I've got some work I can do in in uh, in the car, but um, I'm going to have to pack it up. So I wasn't anticipating that. However, I will show you in just a moment the uh, the panning from one of those uh, from one of those concentrate bags, and I'll show you what I found on the oversize. Uh, stay tuned. Thanks very much. Got a couple things to share here. I'm going to pan out one of these concentrates that we that we did earlier. This is actually the first one from this morning guys on the quarter inch plus and I used my small metal detector and what I found today at oversize you saw me you saw me putting the oversize quarter inch plus onto the onto the Rubbermaid tub top tub lid well what I found today is basically what I usually find in the oversize once in a while once in a blue moon I'll find a piece of gold these are all iron stones here these are all magnetic, and uh, so they're they're definitely ferrous. But my detector kind of goes off on those. But it also goes off on this. And what this is is a piece of a bullet. This is a piece of a bullet. This is lead. This is non-ferrous. That's lead right there. So this is commonly what I'll find. Usually these little unique stones like this. I usually look at them a little bit closer. See what they are. Out of all those stones that we went through six trays six trays of them these were the only stones in there that, that gave any kind of signal the rest of them were just plain stones so no gold so then what you do is you end up with quarter inch minus which is much easier to pan I was also going to show you that regarding lead this right here this is lead that I've taken out of the environment on previous trips So there's still some down here, you know, I'm not going to throw that out, I'll go through it more carefully, but basically there you see the gold from one bag of concentrates. Alright, there you go. 